Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. It's Tuesday, kind of late on Tuesday, I admit, I've had a long busy day. Uh, but it's Lightroom Tuesday, so we're going to talk about renaming your catalogue. Hey folks, we're going to talk about the process of renaming catalogues. As you update Lightroom catalogues, they keep getting renamed. So you might have started off with a Lightroom catalogue and it's now with Lightroom-2. And then you update it again, it was Lightroom-2-2, dash dash and then Lightroom-2-2-2, dash 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 and so on. Or maybe you've updated it twice and you had to go back and use backups and you've now got, you know, Lightroom-3-5-2-2. Dash 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 I'm only kidding, it doesn't really get to that, but you can have a lot of dashes in it. So how do you rename it back to something that you prefer? Even this could be any name that you want to have on the catalog. So let's jump in and show where to find your catalog file and then how to rename it. So inside this catalog here, we can see up the top, we've got the name of the file. Now on Mac, it's pretty straightforward. You hold down the command key and then you click on the name and you can see that you have the breadcrumbs leading to where the file actually is. So we click on the folder directly above it. That will then open up the folder and we can see all the files that are in here. Now we can see that we've got this .lock file and this dash wall file. That means that uh, Lightroom is open. So don't do the rename while Lightroom is open, okay? And for Mac and PC, you can also find it inside your catalog uh, settings. Now, it's inside the Lightroom menu on Mac, but it's inside the Edit menu on PC, just so you know that. You go to Catalog Settings settings in general, and you can see we've got your location, and then you click Show, and that will bring up the parent folder. So we jump in there and show that. So what did I say that we need to do? I said that we need to close Lightroom to do this. So let us close Lightroom. Quick Lightroom. So now we can see those extra folders have gone away. Now, what's really obvious is that we have three folders here and they have a similar base name inside them. So in this case here, it's Sean MacPhoto-2-2-2. Then we have space previews and a space smart previews. So previews are the preview files, They're quite big. Uh, and smart previews, I have less of them with this catalog. Now you don't necessarily need to rename those, but if you don't, Lightroom will have to generate new previews and then these become orphaned and they're just basically useless files that are on the disk and taking up space because Lightroom's going to generate new ones. So it's actually better if you do keep them. So let us rename it. So I'm just going to say call this just by way of something to do it. And I'm going to cheat a little bit. So I'm going to copy and paste. Now, where that was 2 2 2 2, I am going to swap over only that bit. So we still have the space before previews and space before smart previews. So these names all match up. Okay, so that is exactly what you need to do to get the renaming doing. Now you can of course double click on this and that will open it up inside Lightroom. Or if you want, you can also do a drag onto the actual Lightroom icon and that will make it open inside Lightroom as well. That way this now becomes the default catalog that Lightroom expects to see. So you can see the lock file op open up there and Lightroom is opening, it says uh, up here, what does it say Adobe Photoshop Lightroom? And now we can see quite clearly that it says seanmccormack.lrcat. So folks, that is the process for renaming your catalog. It applies to any catalog and it works in the same way. The key is that you keep that base name the same in all three files and make sure that you do it when Lightroom is closed. Don't do it when Lightroom is open. Folks, if you found that useful, please do give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Obviously, we do Lightroom stuff every Tuesday and there's always new Lightroom stuff coming out. Uh, do hit the notification bell if you want to get notified and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. All right. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you in the next one.